You are looking live at the NASDAQ, and it uh, had another uh, update today of 28 points after selling off early in the morning you know, with the Magnificent 7 being sold. And um, it came back in the afternoon and closed up 28 points or 0.2% and closed at 14,432. It just cannot get above this old high from July 19th of 14,446. It's getting close, but it's just a tick below. And maybe it can do it tomorrow. Uh, but the index has been up six weeks in a row. It looks very strong. We're in a power trend. It's getting support here at its moving averages. So everything looks good. Uh, and a nice big volume coming in too. We got some nice blue volume bars. So everything looks good for the, this index. And I'm not going to get in the S&P and the Russell today. I'm just going to go straight to the stocks because it was pretty clear to me today, like after the first, I don't know, hour of selling, this is looks like stealth accumulation to me. Yeah, they sold it off to um, you know, rebalance the QQQs. But then, you know, there was buying it all day long. This is just as a stock being bought right here. And um, yeah, sold off. Price came down. I think that was an opportunity for Apple. If you know, if you were quick on the draw there, it pulled back to what, 190, 191 something, just back to its 10. Uh, this is a textbook cup with handle pattern. Yeah, the low today was 191.42. So it's up a couple bucks from there. Um, we'll see what happens the rest of the week with the rebalance, but that that is on our ready list. It's a textbook cup with handle pattern. Pull back to its 10 today. And then it found support at the 21 last week. We'll see if it can find support at the 10 this week. Microsoft, same deal. Um, sold off at the open. You know, down for the session, less than 1%. But if I go to the five-minute chart, like I just showed you with Apple, yeah, it sold off at the open. But really, all day long, this thing was being accumulated. So, you know, what they'll do is they'll sell it and rebalance. I think there's six stocks going in and six going out. So they got to buy, you know, the, the new stock coming in. They'll sell these. these. These companies are so big, you really don't have to sell that much. But to me, that's accumulation here, even though the stock was down. That was Microsoft, another, you know, textbook cup with handle, pull back to the 21. Um, yeah, that one should be on our ready list as well. Amazon, same deal. Um, yeah, it was down 1% today. Take a look at the five minute chart. Yeah, it came down at the open, but you know, this is, this is buying. I mean, yeah, it's like it's reluctant selling, you know, the, and if you're buying those stocks that are going in, which I'm going to get to in a little bit like uh, MDB, if you're buying these because they're up going in, they, they might go down as fast as they're going up here. So be careful with that. It's up $13 today. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I did not want to go there. Um, so I did go to uh, Amazon. So uh, I met a platform, same deal. Sold off at the open and then, uh, you know, climbed back, you know, four, five, six dollars the rest of the way uh, into the close. Um, Google, I don't think it was quite as pronounced. Um, yeah, it didn't sell off much at all. It's just, uh, you know, it was down, what, 1% today, big deal. Um, Google, pretty nice looking chart here. Uh, I like it above the 139.42 area. So, and it's got to get above, you know, these moving averages, but uh, uh, Google looks uh, pretty decent as well. Tesla, didn't really follow Tesla that much today. This one is trading tight. Wow, with the... Um, Moving averages converging here. That looks pretty good once again for Tesla. And uh, NVIDIA. Yeah, this one sold off. This one looks like the others, I believe. Yeah, it sold off. I don't know what this is. But it sold off, you know, the first hour or two. And then uh, uh, gained strength throughout the session. What was the low today, I wonder? <clears throat> pull, pull back to its 50. Okay. So I'll pull back to its 50 found support. Um the low is 458, close it uh, eight bucks off its low. Um, yeah, I think it's just mechanical trading there. I wouldn't worry too much about, you know, the magnificent seven. I think they're going to be bought into year end. It's just a rebalancing this week, giving you an opportunity, I believe. All right. So since I showed you the NVIDIA chart, I'm going to take a look at some of the other uh, semiconductor stocks that were not. Um, 
sold off due to rebalancing, and that's uh, Broadcom, which got an upgrade from Citigroup, which said they expected sixty dollars in earnings uh, next year. And right now, it looks like the projections are for you know fifty one. So we'll we'll see. That's a nice um, twenty percent um, you know add on to their earnings. We'll see if they can pull that off. But up nine percent today, eighty four dollars. Nice move for uh, Broadcom. AMD, it broke out last week. I'm going to get to this one a little later as well. But still a big volume coming in on this one. And if you look at the weekly here, this thing looks like it to me. It looks like it's just starting this move out of this cup with handle pattern. So, you know, AMD can run as we, we've seen in the past. This thing can make big moves. So, uh, yeah, it was up 4% today and AMD looks good. And, oh, Lamb Research, I, you know, I didn't really look to see if there was news here, but it had a nice day as well. This is an equipment stock, you know, like Applied Materials, a semiconductor equipment group, and it was up nearly 5% um, with good volume today. So Lamb Research looks good. That's enough for the uh, semiconductors. The semiconductors, the software, the cybersecurity, they all uh, did well today. Most of them did well. The groups did well. A CrowdStrike, there was an upgrade Pretty much upgraded the whole group. CrowdStrike was up uh, nearly 2%, and it's just trending higher. I mean, this is a trend trader's dream. If you got this thing back, you know, here at 92, 100, 140 even, or out of here, 160, I mean, there's nothing to do here but just watch this thing grow. And I believe CrowdStrike, if you looked at my IPO on the, uh, I mean, if you look at my video on the IPOs of the 2019 to present stocks, this one could be a big winner. I'm not saying it's going to be, but it could be. And it, it looks like it is. Uh, Zscaler, this one was up 3.3% today. Nice move. Once again, this group was upgraded. And this is not near a buy point. It's extended, but it's just trending higher with its moving averages. So you just, you know, ride, you surf that wave, right? You just ride that surf. And, uh, you know, when it bends at the end, then you dump it, you know, you wipe out. But, you know, until then, there's nothing to do here. Uh, Palo Alto Networks, this one uh, broke out recently, and it's starting to trend like um, CrowdStrike and Zscaler as well. That one looks good. Fortinet, this one was upgraded. It's been upgraded a few times, you know, after the big sell-off, after the earnings miss. It's starting to rebound and looking a little better there. So if you got it below 50, you know. You're up a few percent and doing okay if you're a bottom fisher. I still think Fortnite's a quality company, well run and well managed. The um retailers were um on fire today, some of them. The Nike got an upgrade and it seemed to spill over into some of these apparel shoe stocks, Abercrombie and Fitch making a new high. Um, American Eagle Outfitter, you know, it had that 2021 pulled back on earnings and now making new highs. That one looks good. Lulu, they reported last week, um, <laughs> making new highs. That was quite a uh, move on earnings. Pull back to a moving average and uh, now above 500. Yeah, I mean, the stock doesn't know the moving average is there, but those uh, machines that are programmed, they know it. Um, so they buy at these uh, moving averages. And Chipotle Mexican Grill, um, yeah, broke out and now just trading higher. New high today up to something percent near the $2,300 uh, mark. So Chipotle looks good as well. Uh, somebody is saying, oh, that only gets you know, a couple hundred thousand of uh, volume. Well, yeah, well, the thing's $2,300. So that's why we do uh, with dollar volume and not just, you know, the daily uh, volume. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, $2,300 stock, it takes a lot of... Uh, money to move that. Anyway, if we look at the weekly here, this is a nice symmetrical cup pattern, had a three weeks tight and now really moving higher. So that looks good. Only 27 million shares in the float. So you can see why it doesn't need a whole lot of volume to move. All right, that's enough for the retail. I'm gonna get back to some of those uh, at the end. There's Snowflake, really like this chart pattern. It looked like it was gonna move today. There was some news with Amazon. Um, but it's just sitting right there at its buy point. And if we look at the weekly, this is why I'm, I'm bullish. A lot of these stocks are they're set up to move. And uh, I'm not wildly bullish, like, you know, the market's going to go crazy, but I just think it's not going to sell off. I mean, some of these stocks are going to move higher and the NX is going to move higher with them, especially those um, MAG7 stocks that I showed you. A lot of them are set up 
uh, Monday, another stock that I like, another one of the, uh, you know, IPOs from 2019 or was it 2020, 2021 here. Okay. Uh, but here you can see it's set up in this consolidation, really a base on base pattern. Um, and looks pretty good to me as it pulls back to moving averages. Uh, that one could be uh, a big mover in 2024. Um, that was Monday. Oh, yeah, MDB, I showed you that one. It's going into the uh, uh, QQQs, the NASDAQ 100, I should say, and it just pulled back to its 50. Bounce today, 3.5%. Uh, the other one is Dash. There's six of them going in. I'm not going through all of them. Uh, doesn't really matter to me. Uh, this is a you know breakout here. And then uh, on uh, November 2nd, the best day of the year, pulled back. You'll see a lot of uh, stocks that break out. On gaps, they pull back, you know, to moving averages. I'm going to go through this in a little bit. Some of them do, some of them don't. A lot of them do, I should say. Came back to the 10. So if you didn't get it here, you know, you wait. You know, as the old saying goes, the second mouse gets the cheese. And um, then it just ripped from there, okay? So DoorDash looking good. I, do, I don't own DoorDash, but it's a strong stock. It looks great. Um, okay, I want to go to the... Uh, <laughs> The HVAC stocks, I'm going to stop after this. Uh, this is a fix. We had this on our uh, watch list way back here. In the summer, it was about 150 or so, and it's just taken off since then. It did pull back below. It's uh, 50 down to the 200 recently, and it's just, you know, regained its uh, momentum and trading around 200. So fix looks very good. MOD is another one of these HVAC stocks. Pretty similar action except for it didn't come down to its 200. It sliced its 50, came back. Now making new highs. Uh, Linux, uh, another one, looks really good. Uh, this is trending after the breakout, trending with its moving averages. Like I say, ride the surf and ride the waves, man. And surf the moving averages. That all looks good here with these uh, air conditioning HVAC. There's a nice uh, cup with handle pattern, pull back to that. Uh, moving average and now trending higher. So that one looks good. That's Limbach, L-M-B, Limbach Holdings. Um, okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. So far, I lied. I'm going to get into something here. Uh, with these um, breakouts, I've been talking about how the breakouts have been working and how I just showed you with DoorDash, how sometimes they, you know, they break out, then they pull back to moving averages, which is Samsara has done here. Um, and this is pretty, you know, fairly calm. They make these like, wedge patterns with a thought process as well. Okay, uh, made a big move. What, this is like 25%. Well, people are gonna come in and take profits, right? And um, once they take profits, buyers come in and overwhelm and uh, the buy demand drives the stock higher. Uh, Samsara was up you know, a little bit today, but I, I think this is uh, still trading near a buy point and has a bigger move ahead. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Um, GitLab, this one, I think it was last week. Yeah, last week. Um, it uh, gapped higher on earnings as well, you know, 11.45%. And now it's doing that pullback to the moving average thing. And I believe it'll give you a chance to get in right around that old 54.60 area, maybe um, $55. We'll see. We'll keep our eye on that one. So uh, it's very common that stocks do that. But also, you know, <laughs> don't count on it because you could get a stock like Decker's and this thing um, gapped higher on earnings. 18, almost 19% on October 27th, which was when the market turned actually. And uh, so the, the day range was... Uh, Five hundred forty-three dollars of five eighty-five. You buy it anywhere between there, and it just ripped higher. It gave you one chance where it pulled back to its ten after forming that shelf-type pattern. It was downgraded one day in uh, November, pulled back to the ten, and just ripping higher, making new highs every darn day. So don't count on it just because it gaps up. It's going to pull back to its ten because some of them do and some of them don't. Uh, we're going to look at one right here. Um, uh, the cybersecurity stock, uh, Sentinel One, this one gapped higher last week on earnings. And by the way, you know, the, this is also a sign of how, you know, the market strength 
in market health, we're in a nice, healthy market and these gaps are working, whereas you know, last year's uh, market, they weren't working at all. But this one gapped up 16%, and it's really not giving anything back. Made another new high today. And uh, yeah, if you're going to wait for it to come back to the moving average, you might not get that opportunity. This is a long period of consolidation, 27 weeks, you know, half a year's worth of um, sideways action. So uh, Sentinel-1 is strong. It has been on our ready list, and I like it a lot. The Workday, this one uh, gapped higher. And once again, not, you know, it did pull back a little bit, but not much. And if you didn't get it on those three days, this thing's making new highs now and uh, up another 1% today. So, um, yeah, a lot of these gaps are looking good. ASPN, somebody asked me to look at this stock. Um, it's a chemicals, uh, you know, chemicals specialty stock. I'm not going to pretend like I know a lot about it, but it did gap higher on news. Um, 12, more than 12% with big volume. Pull back one day and now, uh, you know, trading higher, made a new high today at 13.15. So, um, yeah, Aspen looks good. Aerogels. Um, ESTC, another one that broke out on that Friday with um, IoT and PATH. This one, once again, it's just forming a shelf here, not, not giving you a chance to get in. Uh, moving averages are moving quickly towards it, but that one's tough. <laughs> if, you, if you really want to buy it, you know, you're going to have to be patient and wait for it to come in a day. And um, yeah, it's up 1.2% today, even. Geez. Uh, path, I've mentioned UI path. This one, uh, more traditional, where it gapped higher than, than give some back here. And uh, maybe it pulls back to its 10. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, not bad. Maybe it'll just kind of flag in here and. Uh, have the 10 catch up before trading higher. But that's another one I like for uh, next year. Intap, uh, this is a computer data storage stock gap tire and just forming this shelf, okay? So the 10 EMA is catching up slowly but surely. Actually, that's pretty quickly. But, um, you know, the thought process is here with the shelf is an additional or an add-on buy point here for NetApp. Um, Breeze, I wanted to show you Breeze. This is another stock that I like, um, you know, for longer term. But it it traded higher. It didn't um, it didn't gap out of a base. You know, it went it went up to like sixty four after hours on this earnings report. Pulled back to the twenty one, and now it's just kind of squatting there at the twenty one, doing nothing wrong. It's just that it already moved like um, twenty percent out of the base from like fifty to you know past sixty. So you know, it's just pulling back. You can't expect more than a 20% move out of a base. I mean, you can, but the um, you know, it's typical that stocks will typically move 20%, 20, 25%. Any more than that, you're um, you know, you're asking for you know, you're getting a little greedy, probably. Um, another couple ones that I'm gonna get to is uh Salesforce, this one gap tire and forming that familiar shelf as the moving averages catch up. That's a big company to have a, you know. It's not a 10% move, but close enough in spirit, right? 9.36 with over 400% above average daily volume. And the last one's AMD, which gapped higher. Yeah, it wasn't 10%. It was 9.89, over 100%. So I'm going to qualify this. And it's not giving anything back either. This thing is trading higher with really strong volume. So I like that move. And I think with these stocks, all of them, you got to just you know take a step back. Look at the weekly. There's this nice cup three weeks tight pull back and go that's pretty much textbook stuff for uh advanced micro devices anyway that's it for me today um you know the action today was kind of wonky with the rebalance and the mag seven i think it was an opportunity but you know time will tell we'll see uh we're going to start getting into holiday trading and uh jay powell will speak tomorrow and i'm sure he's going to try to um job on the market down there's not much really he can do if um, you know inflation subsiding and you know the market's kind of pricing and that they're done with their uh, rate hikes and uh, i think it would just be fine if they just you know held steady status quo for a little while they haven't hiked since july so i don't think they're going to start now anyway i'm not a, a prognosticator or predictor i'm an interpreter so uh, i'm interpreting the market is pretty healthy and there's a lot of stocks that are set up in bases so We'll take it one day at a time, be flexible and open-minded, and never give up. Thank you for watching.